Hello everybody, Max with A1 Website Pro and today what we're going to talk about and learn about is how to filter and sort our Gmail emails to make everything you know nice and pretty whenever it comes in to your e inbox you can filter them and put them into a label like down here uh, or throw them in, into the spam or the trash you know or uh, a different category so let's talk about this layout here this layout you have your inbox your starred your snoozed important so on and so forth and uh, below that you have this little more tab if you click on the more tab this shows you the scheduled the managed labels and or if you want to create another label that will appear down here you know those those are the labels and so those those labels are pretty much everything that you create right uh, this is something that uh, that you do so that when an email comes in and you apply it to a label like we have one work here you can see that we have an email in there from uh, my other email box okay so that's uh, basically the overview of these uh, different labels here and the other another cool thing what you could do is let's say that you didn't want like snoozed up here that you didn't want to see it when you opened it up you can actually take this and drag it down to that more tab <clears throat> notice now you don't see it up here it's down here and underneath this let more tab whenever you click more it turns to less and it appears down here now the same thing would be true if I didn't want to see my scent uh, or my drafts you know, if I could just, I could just keep dragging all of them maybe my spam all mail import mail if I didn't use this kind of stuff take them all down there and start and now the only thing that I have up here are categories uh, pretty cool huh so how you can do that and let me open up categories and you notice how it has social updates forms and promotion okay and then some of us uh, we have our emails uh, the the categories go across the top here all right so if you want to hide these uh, if you if we look at these labels uh, uh, there's another way to put them down in the more tab so that they're kind of like hidden and so let me uh, show you how to do this if you click on the more tab uh, you go down here to manage labels click on manage labels and now notice how this show hide comes up right right now we're hiding everything from the start because we took and we dragged it from here down to underneath the more tab that was there so so now it's hidden but now let's say that uh, okay let me go ahead and close the categories in fact I'll take the categories you can't move the categories beneath the more okay that's one thing that Oh, maybe you can okay yeah you can uh, perfect so now I just have the inbox but let's say that I wanted to see the starred let me click show now notice start appears there important let me go ahead and click uh, important and now we see see that importance there so that's that's kind of a way that you can clean up your inbox so you don't have you know just have the things that you're using uh, the next thing that we're, we'll talk about is uh, uh, ordering these Gmail labels. So we have these labels down here. If we want to create a, a label, and let's say that we wanted one that we wanted home, these things are are ordered in alpha numerical order. So you notice the number one comes up, and then C, and then M. So let's say that we wanted uh, home and work on top. So maybe I'll uh, what I want to do is since home starts with the letter H I want to put the number one in from front of it and put a hyphen and type in home now if I wanted to nest it under another label I would tick this box and select whatever I wanted to put it underneath it, uh, and then it would be nested under kind of like you see uh, Maximus it has the arrow by it but anyway I'm gonna click create and now we have one home and one work and this is what a nesting looks like on a Maximus is when Google Plus used to exist I used to filter emails down there okay so that's the way you can create a label 
and nest it under something if you like, and then make sure that it's that's ordered down here. Now, uh, let's say I could, uh, let me make another one and put two home, just so you guys can see. So I'll put the number two home, and you'll notice that it appears right underneath the one. So it's going in order, one, two, blah, blah, blah. Now, you notice how I have this orangish color right here where it says check it out later. And let's go up here to home one. And let's say that I wanted to give this uh, label a different color. Well, if I hit the three dots, I come over here. Maybe I want it to be green. See now how see how it turns green. And then if I wanted to delete a label, all I would have to do is hit those three vertical dots, hit remove label, and hit delete, just like so. And that's that's a pretty easy way, you know. So some people, you know, they like color. Put a little color in your life. There you go. Now, the one of the most important things that I think, and one of the most uh, uh, useful features that Gmail has is the ability to uh, sort emails. You can filter these emails so that when they come in, they can go to a different label or inbox. So this uh, news break Ludlow, all right? Maybe I'll create a label down here that's called news or one news since I, I would want it to be on top. Well, there's another way I can do that. If I click the email itself, and I come up to these three dots, and you'll see this label right here, filter messages like these. So I'll click that. Now, we notice that it comes from this email address, hello at mynewsbreak.me. Okay, so that's, that's the condition. Anything that comes from this email address, I want to put into a label called news. Okay, so this this two uh, you know maybe it, maybe you have several email because in Gmail uh, if you go I'll put a link in the description below you can have your different domain names like I could have max at a one website pro dot com in here if I like and because Gmail is just a client and so you can have as many well you can have up to I think five extra email addresses so they put this filter on here so if if I had emails coming from here that were going to Max at A1 Website Pro and I wanted to put them into a label or a category, I could do that. Maybe if it has the subject, you know, uh, of, I don't know, uh, the, a basement remodel, you know, or even in the body, if it contains certain words, maybe you'll want to filter them. Uh, or if it does not have certain words, you can filter them by that. Or if it has an attachment, and the attachment is greater than two megabytes. You know, you might want to create a filter for that. But the easiest thing to do, uh, well, probably the main one that everybody uses, is that from email address. So this is the condition. So let me click Create Filter. And you'll notice here that we'll get a lot of different options. We could skip it and archive it. We could mark it as red. We could star it. If it comes from different people, like I know that I star all my PayPal. Now notice here, this is what I'm talking about. Apply to the label. And then, then you can choose a label, one home, one work, or you could create a new label. And we want to call this one hyphen news. Okay, and then I could click create. Now it's going to apply everything to that label. Now if I want to forward all these email addresses, I would have to add a forwarding email address and then I could automatically forward. That's how a lot of people are, you know, that have more than one Gmail account, they they want to use one Gmail and so they have everything forwarded. The other option you have is to delete it or to never send it to spam. A lot of times whenever you're trying to whitelist something, uh, you know, coming from different email addresses. Never send it to spam is, an, is a good option to have. Or you could always mark it as important. Never mark as important. And then you could always put, put it in a category. So if you tick this box and you open your categories, you got your primary, social, updates, forms, and promotions. Okay? Now, 
this bottom one is really nice because now you don't want to go back through all your email addresses and put them into your uh, news folder. Basically, you could tick this box and you can see we have two matching conversations that apply to uh, this uh, condition. Hello at mynewsbreak.me email address. So let's go ahead and click create filter. And now let's go over here and click one news. And you'll notice here that we have these two email addresses that are in there. Another way that you can make your uh, another way you can make your way to the labels is to go up here to this little gearbox, also known as the cog, and click See All Settings. And if you look up here, at filters and blocked addresses. Okay, so here we have all of our filters that we've set up in the past. And we could go in here, we could edit these filters or delete these filters, okay? But you have that option. Um, and I've got a lot of filters, but you can notice here that this one, hello at my news break, is the new filter that is going into that new label, One News. All right? Well, this is Max with AIM Website Pro. Please like, share, and subscribe. I hope that you found this tutorial useful, and I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.